Uh, the other thing that I wanted to mention before we uh, begin is uh, there was a monumental, I, and I use that word loosely, announcement from Cisco Systems yesterday that they are updating the CCNA uh, certification, CCNA routing and switching, uh, to a brand new certification. And the now amount of inquiries that we've gotten on the new CCNA certification has been astronomical. So I thought, you know what, I know a lot of people that are here um, are in the Cisco space and want to know a little bit more about uh, that side of things. So why not just toss in a slide right at the beginning to talk about what's new in the uh, in the Cisco world in terms of CCNA 3.0 update. Um, the update is expected, meaning uh, Cisco updates their flagship certifications like CCNA, CCNP about once every four to five years, and this one is no exception. The last update came about four years ago. So CCNA is quote unquote due for an update, uh, but that being said, uh, there wasn't an amazing amount of stuff done. If you look right here, uh, ICMD1, let me actually grab, grab my pen and see if I can draw as I go. Uh, ICMD1, uh, one of the interesting things, and I, I, th I think this is probably the number one question that I get asked, why did Cisco rip OSPF out of ICMD1 and go with rip only? I mean, <laughs> first off, why even talk about rip anymore, rip version two? Um, well, the reason why, and I, I, as soon as they did it, I was like, I know exactly why they're doing that. Um, RIP is, I don't want to say a rite of passage, but it's more of a uh, foundation protocol. It's one of the easiest routing protocols to learn, and it teaches you the concept of that. And I, I see Jesse uh, right on the question saying, is OSPF eliminated? Yes, actually OSPF as a major topic is eliminated. You'll probably see the, uh, the, the, the topic come up at, at some point in ICD-1, but they really focus on RIP because it teaches you the structure of routing protocols. But think about where Cisco would position somebody who is only passed ICD-1, meaning a CCENT certification, small business. And most small business doesn't even use RIP. They use static routes to get around. That's where most uh, organizations begin. And so the framework of routing protocols is conveyed in ICMD-1, but they don't expect you to actually use them if you only have an ICMD-1 certification or CCNT certification and you walk out into the real world. They really focus a lot more on the big picture of uh, routing protocols, or not routing protocols, but big picture of networking, like uh, collapsed core design. Because again, at ICMD-1, you're not doing the three-tier hierarchy with the access, distribution, and core, all these different layers and all that kind of stuff. At best, you're doing a collapsed core design, meaning uh, you've got a couple switches that serve the purpose of both the distribution and core layer uh, that tie together your single site, which again is the design uh, and the focus of ICMD-1. So a lot more big picture stuff like DNS, DHCP, how these integrate in, even though they're not direct networking topics, a simple DNS server failure could cause everybody to point their finger at the network and go, ah, what's going on? So the ability of the ICMD-1 individual to understand, hey, you know what, if you ping google.com, and it fails, maybe try pinging you know, 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 or something like that uh, to see if it's a DNS issue. So those kind of big picture concepts, also introducing a lot of the big picture, not config, but big picture of firewalls, wireless access points, what a controller does, all that kind of stuff, and a lot more uh, monitoring and day-to-day -day stuff. Um, how do you, you know, verify your iOS is running the latest version? How do you uh, verify syslog messages are um, not sounding the alarm on these network devices and, and all of that. So that's, that's the ICMD1 world. ICMD2, <laughs> it makes me sad. Finally, uh, Frame Relay is gone. And I know a lot of people rejoice, and, and I, I, I kind of do, because Frame Relay serial connectivity in general is becoming a dated uh, concept as uh, fiber optic and everything takes over the world. Uh, but it, it was a, it's, it's, it's more of a, you know, I had to learn it, <laughs> so everybody should have to learn it. Um, frame Relay, the reason they kept it around so long is because it really conveyed the concept of a lot of the networks we have today, like MPLS and so on and so on, Metro E. Uh, but now they finally said, you know what, enough learning DELCs and PVCs and everything else, when really we can just talk about uh, a lot more modern stuff. And that's why they introduce more of modern WANs, BGP. They introduce uh, cloud and software-defined networking, which uh, I, I would say um, of the topics, SDN just pops up almost like, 
You know, like uh, Kramer on Seinfeld. You know, like any time in Seinfeld, he could just pop in the door and totally change the game. It's like every now and then Kramer pops in. Somebody's like, hey, when is SVN going to change everything? And I'm always like, ah, maybe five years, you know, maybe seven years. Uh, Essentially, software-defined networking, uh, reshaping the entire networking world by taking the intelligence out of the devices and centralizing it. So essentially all your little devices, your routers and your switches and your things become little drones of the central uh, control plane or the core of the entire system. And it can make system-wide adjustments based on whatever the current needs of the network are. So, so SVN is being introduced now at ICND. You know, what, what does the cloud do? It's not, we're not going to sit down and drop in uh, ICND2 other than the fact that it is totally changing the flow of how networks work. I remember, well, not, not even a few days ago, uh, talking about layer three switching and how you know, ASIC-based routing inside of your network is needed uh, and, and is a great thing to have before VLANs. Well, nowadays, there's not much inner VLAN traffic happening because everybody's going to the internet. So that becomes the core of all of our routing focus is how do we quickly get them to the internet, um, also adding quality of service. So, so that's, that's, the, that's the big picture of uh, ICND 1 and 2, what that update is. So I know uh, I see a, a few, few questions. When will, uh, and I, I think this one is uh, happening to me quite a bit, uh, people saying, when, when does CBT, when will CBT have the updated 3.0 curriculum? That, since this announcement literally happened yesterday from Cisco, um, we are still going, okay, well, where does this fit? When do we need to update, looking at the expiration dates of the current exams and things like that? So I don't have a, a date for you yet, but I know it's going to be obviously a high-priority update because it's such a big series. 